Alright guys, today we're going to be uh, shooting the 554. Um, what we had to do is, um, we actually had to unscrew the tank slightly to allow for the big bullet to get in there. Um, let me see if I can just zoom in on that. You can see it's sitting in there. So we're going to just do it like that. Just want to see um, what this 4500 PSI upgrade can uh, push and how fast it can push a 554 grain bullet. Alright, here it goes. At 786 feet per second. Yeah. Yeah. 786 with a 554 grain bullet. That's awesome. There you go. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, so this is shot two. Um, so we just got over. 4,000 PSI on the gun. Um, shot one was pretty incredible. So I go shot two. Um, okay. So go for shot two. 764.6. Uh, let me just zoom in on that. So that was shot two, which was 764.6. And now there's like 4,000 psi on the gun. Um, I'll just zoom in on that. Where you go. Uh, let's see here, that's so bright out today. So you can see how much air is left, and that's after two shots with a 554 grain bullet. Yeah. Alright guys, this is shot number three. The reason we have to keep stopping and, and keep doing another video for this third, second or third shot is because we have to remove the tank slightly, unscrew it, and then we have to put the bullet and screw the bullet, the tank back in. Um, because the bullet's so long. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, shot three was 735, and now we are about 3,000 psi. All right, guys, this is uh, shot number four. Actually, we're only down to three and a half thousand psi. So I had a close look at the gauge. Um, let's see what shot four does. Okay. That's shot number four. That's 703 with a 554 grand bullet. This is shot five. We've got 3,000 PSI on the gun. Um, let me see how this goes. That's uh, 670. Alright, guys, this is shot number six. Um, we've got about 2,800 psi on the gun. And this is also a 554 grand bullet. Um, Yeah, that's 633, and now we are down to 2,000 PSI. 
I guess pretty awesome. That's six shots. We're still 2,000 um, 2,000 PSI left on the gun.